decomposition of functions. Similarly to how we may have distributed two polynomials in the past while other times factoring them, we will also want to work both of functions. Often we're combining functions together, but occasionally we will need to decompose one function into two. In composition, we replaced each x with a new function. In decomposition, we will find everywhere that we see an x and figure out a way to remove a certain function from it. For example, if g of h of x is 9x squared minus 12x plus 6, h of x is 3x, and we want to find g of x, then we'll need to find a 3x everywhere we see an x happen. We could start by rewriting g of h of x as g of 3x, notating exactly what we're looking for. In the first term, 9x squared. If I want 3x to show up, but be equivalent to 9x squared, I need to square it. This means I can rewrite 9x squared as 3x squared. In the next term, negative 12x, if I want 3x to show up but be equivalent to what is there, I need to multiply 3x by negative 4. So this term could say negative 4 times 3x. The last term doesn't have an x in it, so I can leave it alone. Now, everywhere that I see the 3x, which is h of x, I could now decompose out and leave an x in its place. This would mean that g of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 6. If I want to check my work, I can compose my answer with h of x. This was an example of decomposition of two functions. You will find this skill useful when learning the chain rule in calculus.